This is a beautiful technique for creating a partitioned primary index table. You see, one of the things you're going to always want to do in Teradata is do a little experimentation so you can get a better design. Well, look what I do here. Create volatile table, order table, PPI, as, I'm not saying as the order table, not at all, because then I couldn't change anything. I'm saying as, open print, select asterisk from order table, where the order dates between these two dates. With data, I want a new primary index of order number, and I want a partition by a range n. And now I say the order dates between here and here, each interval one day. I now have a partitioned table, not sorted by row ID like normal, but sorted by row key, where each amp sorts the data they own by the partition of order date. Each day is a separate partition, and now when I query this all session long with range queries like what I do in this quarter or what I do in this month or what I do between these two days, this is going to be much faster than the normal full table scan. What's the difference between a set table and a multi-set table? A set table does not allow a duplicate row. So if you had a person who was employee one in department 400 named John Smith and made $50,000 and you tried to insert another row, employee one, department 400, John Smith makes $50,000, it's going to kick that out and says, I'm a set table and we don't allow duplicate rows around here. Now, a multi-set table would allow duplicate rows and that's the difference. But the problem sometimes with a multi-set table is sometimes somebody might run a load of data twice. So now they've got a bunch of duplicate rows in there that they really didn't want in there. Here's how you might use a volatile table to get rid of the dupes that you've made a mistake on by loading twice. Watch what I do here. I create a volatile set table called it rid of dupes as select everything from the sales table with the data on commit preserve rows and it begins to bring that data all the way over and guess what it gets rid of the duplicate rows because it says I'm a set table that ain't allowed around here now that you've got this to where you want it you can go and actually delete everything from the sales table and then you can insert back into that sales table select everything from rid of dupes and you have fixed the problem. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza Teradata or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.